Hey, it's Lon with Screencast Profit. Hey, maybe you're interested in using video on the internet as a marketing tool to increase your profits. Maybe start video blogging or podcasting. How about creating screen capture videos using Camtasia or a similar program to create demos, product reviews, or sales and squeeze page videos, for example? This is all good stuff. Well, if you're not thinking about it, you should be. In fact, many of you are. I'm not going to waste your time here telling you that video as a marketing tool on the Internet is here, and it's hot. You already know that. But here's the problem. The vast majority of marketing videos out on the Internet today suck. There, I said it. Now, don't get me wrong, they suck for a variety of reasons which we go over in detail and provide solutions for at Screencast Profits. But, the number one reason is, the audio sucks. If you ask almost any video production professional about the importance of audio in their work, you'll likely get an answer that resembles something like 60% of their overall effort. That's huge. Audio is 60% of my video? And yet, of all the issues that plague marketing videos on the Internet today, none are as common as poor audio quality. Yep, the number one reason many marketing videos out there suffer so miserably has less to do with the video itself and everything to do with the audio. So what? Well, Studies have shown that when presented with two identical pieces of video footage, one containing a high quality audio track and one a poor quality track, users almost immediately identify the higher quality audio version as a superior video. Oh, and here's the weird part. It's not just because the audio is better. They actually perceived the video quality as better also. So yeah, it matters. Look, you can have the greatest footage or screen capture possible, but add lousy audio to the mix and your best efforts are diminished right off the bat by a huge percentage. What kind of strategy is that? I think we can do better. Want to instantly give your video work the single biggest boost it can get? Ace the audio. An otherwise great video is crushed by bad audio, but equally, even a marginal video will benefit tremendously when you ace the audio. So let's get to work. Let's jump right in and take a look at the major audio problems that cause crappy videos. And then I'll show you how to fix them. See if you can identify with any of these scenarios. This might be a little uncomfortable. You open up a video to watch and are greeted with a volume level reminiscent of an ACDC concert. Yikes, Angus. Or the volume is so low, you crank up your speakers, only to forget to turn them down after watching the video and suffer a heart attack the next time Windows makes the error noise. Ouch. And my personal favorite. Every time the speaker says a word that begins with a P or a B, it sounds like a shotgun blast going off next to your head. Or how about noisy, echoey, scratchy, kind of garbled sounding, in general just not very pleasant to listen to. And then there's always so much fumbling, stumbling, stammering, ums and ahs, as to make one wonder if the narrator actually speaks the language. Yeah. Yeah, will I, will I, will I, will I? I swear I didn't do it. Any of this sounding familiar? I'm sure it probably is. And that's the bad news. The good news is, all that stuff, pretty easy to fix. Here are the main offenders in order of when they occur in the process of recording. Poor equipment choices. Poor environment choices. Bad volume levels, explosive P's and B's, no editing. Let's face it, 
Audio engineering is an art and a science. Reproducing sound has been going on since Thomas Edison created the first recordings in 1877. There is a ton of information and thousands of very refined techniques and equipment advances that have come about in the last 110 years. Great sound is the de facto standard. You certainly wouldn't tolerate anything less from your music CDs, your iPod, television programs, or movies. The big problem is that in the very near future, viewers of your online videos won't tolerate it either. Look, most of us are very forgiving of the current state of video on the Internet. It's still a pretty novel thing. Watching a fairly small video size with audio playing over our computer speakers still has hiccups and quality issues that we're used to, so we kind of tend to overlook them. And we still think they're cool. But be aware that all of that is rapidly changing. Broadband data speeds and compression technologies, which brought on the onslaught of video popularity in the first place, are only getting faster and better and more widespread. And consider this. Today it is totally possible to watch YouTube videos or video podcasts, for example, on your 60-inch plasma TV screen on demand with the sound pump directly through your home theater speaker entertainment system. This kind of technology will become more and more pervasive because Customers will choose to select video content that they want to watch at a time and place of their choosing with as few commercial interruptions from the people who control the feed as possible. The Internet provides the possibility of more rich media content than you can shake a stick at. Can you say TiVo on steroids? Look, if you don't start getting audio right, the only thing you'll end up doing is assaulting your viewers eardrums. You'll have them yanking their earbuds out or doing a remote control channel change faster than you can say, that sounds like shit. The issue for most of us is that we are not audio engineers, but that doesn't mean we're helpless either. Here are my top tips for making the most of your audio efforts. I'll be leaving out all but the most essential technical junk, and believe me, there's a ton of it. Yeah, Lon, not that kind of junk. Oh, my bad. And we'll cut right to the meat. Oh, and we are going to sound great without spending a fortune. Mm -hmm.